Hello again, everyone. It's Todd Struch, the horror nerd here at New Jersey Horrorcon and Film Festival at the Showboat in Atlantic City, New Jersey. It is Saturday afternoon. We're rocking and rolling here at the convention. I'm standing here with my friend, author of the Exit Zero Zombie trilogy, author Neil Cohen. Neil, how are you? Good, good. Thank you so much for coming over. Yeah, absolutely, man. I never pass up the opportunity to speak uh, with you. And I appreciate it. <laughs> How's the show been for you so far? The show's been good. Listen, it's been uh, 18 months of no shows. Yeah. Um, I was releasing a new book uh, in uh, early 2020. I had plans for cons all through 2020. Every one of them got scrapped. Uh, then they got scrapped for beginning of 2021, so I'm glad to be finally out at a con. Exactly. You and me both, brother. Yep. I'll tell you what, it's, it's been interesting, you know, but it's great to be back in the saddle again, it that's is. for sure. Listen, this is how you have to do the business, you know, this is where the community is, this is uh, the fan base, this is the community. Sure. So, for I, I don't know how anyone could not be familiar with you by now. I know. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Well, but why don't you just tell everyone who might not be aware a little bit about yourself and about your work? Uh, do you know who I am? No. So, my name is Neil Cohen. I'm the author of four books. First of all, the Exit Zero Zombie Trilogy follows the zombie apocalypse as it begins in New Jersey. And then my newest book, which just came out, is called Business is Dead. It is my first non-fiction novel. Oh, no, I'm sorry, non-fiction book. It's not a novel. And it is all about people like yourself, entrepreneurs, people who are so uh, 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 have such a deep fandom and passion for horror that they led a fandom-fueled entrepreneurship and became entrepreneurs. That is very cool. Yeah. And so now what led you from writing fiction? What made you to decide, okay, it's time to do a nonfiction book? Absolutely. Well, you know, I, my when I'm not writing, my real world is business development, uh, capture, corporate growth. So when I'm not uh, selling at these shows, I'm walking around talking to the other vendors, and I would realize that a lot of them are very, very creative, very artistic, very passionate, but not business people. They weren't properly displaying their capabilities, their wares, their, their artistry. They weren't following up with leads. They weren't keeping track of, of fans. And I, I would talk to them, advise them, and then I just finally said, why don't I write a book on this? Why don't I write an advisory book for people who are just starting out, want to go to cons, want to be on uh, online, want to uh, share their passion, their fandom, but do it correctly and try to get a return on investment. <laughs> well, I, you know what? And I think a lot of people need that. You know, like, I, look, I myself, this is started out as a hobby. Well, most of you them know? do. Most and of them and do. And it's a lot of fun. And then I'm like, you know what? I probably should find a way to start making money doing this. Exactly. Well, <laughs> when I wrote the first book, I wrote it for my friends. It was a bunch of short stories for my friends and as the short stories piled up and my friends really liked it and they shared it with other people I said well maybe this is something that we can uh, do uh, uh, as a book here and so I started writing and it took about three years to put the first book together but then it became a book and it hit and then that became a second and third book so but it wasn't I didn't set out to write a book never set out to even read a book <laughs> I just wanted to entertain my friends and then it happened that is awesome. Yeah, though, it to is. To hear it like is. a grassroots kind of growth like that. Yeah, and when you see most of these people here, they were drawing, they were doodling, they were sewing, they were crafting, they were doing cosplay for their friends or themselves, and then suddenly more people started asking, and more people started asking, and before they knew it, it was a business. So, you know, I'm a lifelong New Jersey resident. Yep. Why why wouldn't the zombie apocalypse start in New Jersey? Well, <laughs> there's no place better. First of all, we are uniquely situated to survive the zombie apocalypse based on our personalities. New Jersey is in your DNA. Uh, I, you can't scrub it off you. It, it is noticeable to other people in New Jersey. It is just a way of life. And if there was a zombie virus that came out, we would probably fare pretty well. Despite what anyone says, we would probably do very well. But also, it w in my book, they seal off New Jersey, and they first the country kind of takes the attitude of, screw it, it's New Jersey. You know? But then 
then which they usually do anyway. Exactly. But then, of course, it spreads and then it gets out of control. And then the president is running the country out of Cape May, trying to uh, show that, hey, I got things under control. They didn't. And then it spreads nationwide. But what's wild about the books is I wrote these. The first one came out in 2016 incredibly prophetic to what happened in 2020. I had in there convalescent plasma. I had in there social distancing. I had in there the attack on Washington. I had in there uh, closing of the universities and schools. I had in there uh, 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 interstate travel restrictions. Everything that I had in the books, except for the zombies so far, has come true. I have to admit, I was a little disappointed that COVID-19 didn't create zombies. Well, the, it does I was a little a bit let down. But. We're at Lambda, then comes Mu. Uh, uh, so what is it? If, when we get to Zulu, that's probably the zombie variant. I don't know. I, I agree with you. I think we'd do pretty well in an actual zombie apocalypse, to be honest with you. Oh, of course. Jerseyans don't tolerate much crap. Look, we survived Bruce Springsteen's Lucky Town albums. We can survive uh, That's fair. zombie apocalypse. <laughs> That's fair. So, Neil, before we wrap it up, what are you working on now? Any new books in the works? What I am working to? on a book. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. I've been. I've had a couple uh, uh, um, false starts. Uh, I had a couple ideas, and it was, uh, uh, I think, think it's a great story and then I had another one and I got distracted because I have OCD and I started writing that one and I went back to the first one so I'm trying to decide what's next but also I'm hopefully the uh, books will become a movie someday that would be awesome that's what I hope I for. would look forward to that so uh, Neil tell the folks how they can find your books and follow you along online absolutely you can find me at businessisdead.com spelled out businessisdead.com you can also find me at ezzombie.com, ezzombie.com, and you can follow me on all socials at, at Exit Zero Zombie, spelled out at Exit Zero Zombie. Very cool. Neil, Thank you. it's always a pleasure, my friend. It's always good to see you. And, and like you, you said, I'm glad conventions are back. I'm having a blast today getting caught up with all my friends. And it's, it's just good to be back. It is. It is. It's great to be around people. Absolutely. Author Neil Cohen, everybody, check him out. Find him online. Get his books. You won't be disappointed. I promise. Horror nerd Todd Stroot signing off from New Jersey Horror Con and Film Festival in Atlantic City, New Jersey. We will see all of you in the next interview.